Hey guys, what's going on? Glove Save Gaming back here with another video. In today's video, we're going to begin a franchise mode with the Toronto Maple Leafs. I'm curious to see if I can get them over the hump of not just getting past the first round, but potentially getting them a Stanley Cup within 10 seasons. Austin Matthews and William Nylander recently signed extensions to keep themselves in Toronto. Joseph Wall as well, his extension is going to be kicking in in the 25-26 season. So for this video, I'm starting it in the 24-25 season. Already Sim, the 23-24. Ended up just selecting Ben Dan for it. He wasn't the best player available, but thought it made the most sense just because that's who the Leafs picked. Our other picks in the draft, Suryatsky, Patterson, Vesterheim, Lassala, Kemic, Charos, Bukarts, and Desaurier. Let's take a look at our lines headed into this season. As you can tell, some of the overalls are probably not what you expect. The one that sticks out to me is Callie Yarncroak at an 85. He started in 82, but I guess in that sim last year, he had a really good season that boosted his overall. So I've got the line set up. Domi, Matthews, and Nylander. Nyes with Taveras and Marner. Cowan with Holmberg and Yarncroak. And Dewar with Camp and McMahon. On defense, it's Riley with Tanev. McCabe with Lilligren and Benoit. With Ekman Larson. The only scratch is Connor Timmins and the goaltenders are Joseph Wall and Anthony Stolar so I'm hoping with this Toronto team but able to win more than one round I'm hoping that this team can go on some sort of a run here in 2025 and we'll see what we can do with the trade deadline to help this team so we are here one day before the trade deadline the Leafs are not in a good spot right now currently sitting in seventh in the Atlantic division with 59 points and a record of 26 27 and 7 taking a look at player stats after 60 games Nylander is leading the team with 80 points Matt Matthew 67, Domi 50, Marner 47, Tavares 45, Nice 41, Riley with 35, Yarncroak 31, Cowan with 24, Ekman Larson 21, Dewar 15, Lilligren 14, Holmberg with 13, same with McCabe, Camp has 12, McMahon with 9, Benoit 6, same with Tanev. Let's take a look at the goaltenders now. Joseph Wall has been the starting goalie this year. He's 19, 21, and 5 with one shutout, an 894 save percentage, and a 3.28 goals against average, while Anthony Stolar is a 7-6-2 with no shutouts, a 9-0-7 save percentage, and a 3.05 goals against average. The regular season is now complete. The Leafs have a disaster of a season in 24-25, finishing in 8th in the Atlantic Division with 79 points and a record of 33-36-13. and Five teams from the Atlantic will make the playoffs this year, the Bruins, Panthers, Lightning, Sabres, and the Canadians. On now to the Metro, where the Devils, Hurricanes, and Capitals get into the playoffs. In the Pacific Division, Western Conference, the Oilers, Kings, Canucks, and Golden Knights will make the playoffs. And then finally in the Central, it's the, it's the Predators, the Blues, the Avalanche, and the Blackhawks. So taking a look at final stats for Leafs players this season, Nylander had a great season, 112 points. Matthews, 98. Domi, 72. Tavares with 70. Marner, 66. Nye, 63. Riley, 46. Yarncroke, 41. Cowan finished with 33 in his rookie season. Ekman, Larson, 30. Holmberg, 21. Lillard, with 20, same with Dewar. Camp finishes with 18, same with McCabe. McMahon, 15. Tanev with 13. And Benoit finishes with 8. Taking a look now at goaltenders. Wall goes 25, 26, and 9 with two shutouts and 894 save percentage and a 3.31 goals against average. While Stolars goes 8, 11, and 4 with one shutout, a 900 save percentage and a 3.24 goals against average. Let's take a look now at goaltenders around the NHL. Taking a look at other goaltenders around the NHL. Most wins in the league this year with 43. Skinner and Vasilevsky both had 42. Bobrovsky finished with 40. Let's take a look at scoring around the NHL. Lindholm at 123 points in his first year in Boston. Pasternak, 122. McDavid, 121. McKinnon, 117. Middlestat, 115. Nylander, 112. Rantanen, 111. And Bedard and Kaprizov finished with 100. Taking a look at the playoff bracket in 2025. Sheldon Keefe's new team, the New Jersey Devils, will win the Stanley Cup, defeating Buffalo. Buffalo in round one, Carolina in round two, Florida in round three, and the Canucks in the Stanley Cup Finals. Taking a look at team and league awards for 2025, Devils will win the Cup, along with the Prince of Wales, Clarence Campbell Bowl to the Canucks, and Presence Trophy to the Edmonton Oilers. Taking a look now at individual awards, the Art Ross will go to Elias Lindholm, along with the Hart, the Norris to Evan Bouchard, Lady Bing to Pasternak, Calder to Matt Savoy, Conn Smythe to Jack Hughes, Vesna to Sam Montembo, William M. Jennings to UC Soros, Bill Masterton to Daniil Miramanov, Jack Adams goes to Medano, the Sabres coach Selkie to Sean Couture, 
Murray, Ted Lindsay to Elias Lindholm, and the Maurice Rocket Richard to David Pasternak. Thank you very much for watching this video. Toronto Maple Leafs franchise mode season number one. Disaster of a year here in 24-25. The worst part is we don't have our first round pick this year and we miss the playoffs. A lot of decisions to make this summer. John Tavares is a free agent. Mitch Marner is a free agent. He had a terrible year in his contract year. So we'll see what decisions we end up making to make this team better. If you haven't had the chance to check out any of my other content, I really appreciate it. If you go back and do so, it would help me out. If you can like, subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell so you won't miss any future uploads.